In a cabin in the forest, a family leads a simple yet peaceful life. However, one day, one of the brothers, while fishing, is tricked into chasing a furry little creature into a hollow tree, through which he emerges into an unknown world inhabited by both friendly creatures and terrifying monsters. Initially frightened and driven only by the desire to return home, the boy begins to explore the bizarre world, eventually understanding the real reason the creature lured him there. The story of Creepy Tale, some other place is rather simple but entertaining enough, achieving this without long dialogues but through small cutscenes that occur during gameplay. The inspiration once again draws from ancient fairy tales, with a particular nod to the Brothers Grimm. The game follows the pattern of previous episodes. By directly controlling the character, players will need to explore the available areas, which are always quite limited, searching for clues to solve puzzles that can be either environmental or logical. Don't be fooled by the direct control, as the game doesn't utilize any platforming mechanics. When you need to jump, simply pressing a button will automatically get you safely across. In the later stages, it's possible to die in some instances, but these moments are not punishing at all. As mentioned, the puzzles can be both environmental and logical and are fairly varied. However, I had the unpleasant feeling that the logical puzzles were deliberately made overly cryptic, possibly to extend the experience, which is already quite short, taking about three hours to reach the end. A final note about the autosave system which only activates between chapters. While the chapters themselves are short, taking a break from a puzzle only to find that you have to redo the entire chapter upon returning is not enjoyable. Once again, the game does not deviate from the previous episodes, offering simple yet decidedly inspired graphics. However, in my opinion, they are slightly inferior to those of the second episode, which I consider the best. The environments are varied, detailed, and always imbued with that slightly eerie atmosphere, typical of the series, which has become a hallmark. As mentioned, the game doesn't feature many dialogues but offers a high-quality English dubbing, with actors who effortlessly bring the quirky cast of characters to life. The musical accompaniment is good and atmospheric. Looking closely, the only real flaw of Creepy Tale, some other place, is that it doesn't offer anything particularly new sticking to delivering a product very similar to its predecessors. This will delight fans of the series despite a few hiccups in the logic of the puzzles 